Hello, and welcome to the 505 tutorial for configuring analog inputs. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure analog inputs. The 505 has eight 4 to 20 milliamp analog input channels. Each channel is differential, but can be configured to be loop powered. To configure analog inputs, you must be logged in to the configure user level and configuration mode. Refer to the changing user levels and changing modes and languages tutorials to learn how to do this. To check the user level and mode, press mode. To access the analog input summary screen from the home screen, use the navigation cross keys to select analog inputs, then press enter. On the analog input summary screen that opens, please note that each row consists of one channel and its function, tag, value, and units. Each channel also has a fault status light that will illuminate if the value of the input channel is in a faulted state. Remember, each of these channels corresponds to the similarly numbered input terminals on the back of the 505. To select an analog input channel to configure, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the desired channel. In this demonstration, we'll choose AI08. Then press enter. The selected channel screen opens. To configure the selected analog input channel, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the input function box. Press enter to open the input function drop down menu. Use the adjust keys as many times as necessary to highlight the desired option. Press enter to select the highlighted option. Use the navigation cross keys to highlight the 4 milliamp value box. Next, Press enter to select the current value. Use the numeric keypad to replace it with the desired value, and then press enter again to confirm the change. Use the navigation cross keys to highlight the 20 milliamp value box. To replace the current value, you can either use the numeric keypad, like you did for the 4 milliamp value box, or you can use the adjust keys to reach the desired value. If the device for this channel is loop powered, Use the navigation cross keys to highlight the loop powered box, and then press enter to add a check mark to it. For this demonstration, we do not want to add a check mark to this box, so we'll press enter again to remove it. If you want to rename the channel you're configuring, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the device tag box. Press enter to select the current tag name. Use the numeric keypad to enter a new tag name, and then Press enter to accept the new tag name. For this demonstration, we will not rename the channel. Next, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the units box. If you want to enter a unit label to use with this channel, press enter to select the current value. Use the numeric keypad to enter a new unit, such as RPM, which we'll use for this demonstration. And then press enter to accept the new unit. Now the controller will show the remote speed set point units in RPMs. Now use the navigation cross keys to highlight the Modbus multiplier box. This box allows you to select the multiplier to be used for the parameter address on the 505 slave Modbus communication link. For this demonstration, we'll keep the multiplier as one. To select a different multiplier, press enter to open the input function dropdown menu. Use the adjust keys as many times as necessary to highlight the desired option. Press enter to select the highlighted option. Finally, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the decimals displayed box. This box allows you to select how many decimal places will be shown for the value associated with this channel. For this demonstration, we'll keep the multiplier as one. To select a different multiplier, press enter to open the input function drop down menu. Use the adjust keys as many times as necessary to highlight the desired option. Press enter to select the highlighted option. To cycle through the analog input channels, press the black function keys below the left or right arrow buttons. To return to the analog input summary screen, either press the black function key below summary or press escape. Then, to return to the main 505 screen from the analog input summary screen, press home or escape. If you are finished using the 505 for now, 
remember to exit configuration mode. You now know how to configure analog inputs. Please be sure to view the other tutorials for more information.